Welcome back to our CompTIA a certification exam preparation series. In today's video, we will focus on mobile device display components. Are you ready to test your knowledge and sharpen your skills? Let's dive right in. Question 1. A technician is replacing the display on a laptop and notices that the Wi-Fi signal is weak after reassembly. Which of the following components may have been affected during the repair? A. Inverter B. Digitizer C. Wi-Fi antenna D. Webcam The correct answer is C, Wi-Fi antenna. The Wi-Fi antenna is often located in the display area of a laptop, and if it was not properly reconnected during the repair, it can lead to a weak Wi-Fi signal. Question 2. When troubleshooting a mobile device that has a touchscreen that is not responding to touch input, which type of touchscreen technology is most likely to be used in this device? A. Resistive B. Capacitive C, Infrared D, Surface Acoustic Wave. The correct answer is B, Capacitive. Capacitive touchscreens are the most common type of touchscreen technology used in mobile devices. They use electrical fields to detect touch input. If the touchscreen is not responding, it may be due to dirt or debris on the screen interfering with the electrical field. Question 3. While troubleshooting a notebook computer system, you find that the LCD screen suddenly became dark and difficult to read during a large file download via the wireless network. The system was plugged in at the user's desk. The backlight has stopped working. Which of the following are the most likely causes? Choose 2. A. Malware installed during the download targeting the backlight circuitry. B. The cold cathode fluorescent lamp, CCFL, has burned out and needs replacement. C. Radio signals emitted by the wireless network card interfering with the backlight. D. The extended download placed high demands on the system's DC power, causing the BIOS to shut off the backlight. E. Malfunction of the inverter in the LCD assembly. The correct answers are B. The cold cathode fluorescent lamp, CCFL, has burned out and needs replacement. And E. Malfunction of the inverter in the LCD assembly. The CCFL is the light source responsible for illuminating the LCD screen, and if it burns out, the backlight stops working. The inverter, on the other hand, converts DC power to AC power for the backlight. A malfunctioning inverter can also result in a non-functioning backlight. Question 4. Which of the following display types is known for its low power consumption? A. LCD, B, LED, C, OLED, Plasma. The correct answer is C. OLED. OLED displays are known for their low power consumption because they do not require a backlight and only the pixels that are lit consume power. Question 5. A technician is comparing two laptops with different display types. Which laptop will have better color accuracy? A. The laptop with an LCD display. B. The laptop with an LED display. C. The laptop with an OLED display. D. The laptop with a plasma display. The correct answer is C. The laptop with an OLED display. OLED displays are known for their excellent color accuracy, making them a good choice for applications where color accuracy is important. Question 6. You are comparing two external monitors with different display types. Which display will have better viewing angles? A. The monitor with a TN display. B. The monitor with an IPS display. C. The monitor with a VA display. D. The monitor with a PLS display. The correct answer is B. The external monitor with an IPS display. IPS displays are known for their wide viewing angles allowing the screen to be viewed clearly from different positions without significant color distortion or loss of image quality. Question 7. You have been tasked with troubleshooting a mobile device with a flickering display. Which component is most likely to be causing the issue? A. The inverter. B. The digitizer. C. The backlight. D. The display cable. 
the correct answer is D, the display cable. If a mobile device's display is flickering, it is most likely due to a faulty display cable. The display cable connects the display to the device's motherboard, and if it is damaged or loose, it can cause the display to flicker or display artifacts. Question 8. You are comparing two laptops with different display resolutions. Which laptop will have a larger display? A. The laptop with a resolution of 1366x768 B. The laptop with a resolution of 1920x1080 C. The laptop with a resolution of 2560x1440 D. The laptop with a resolution of 3840x2160. The correct answer is D. The laptop with a resolution of 3840x2160. While the resolution of a display does not determine the physical size of the display, laptops with higher resolutions often have larger displays to accommodate the higher pixel density. Therefore, a laptop with a resolution of 3840x2160 is likely to have a larger display than a laptop with a resolution of 1366x768. Question 9. When comparing two mobile devices with different display types, which device will have better energy efficiency? A. The device with an LCD display B. The device with an LED display C. The device with an OLED display. D. The device with a plasma display. The correct answer is B, the device with an LED display. LED displays are known for their energy efficiency, as they use less power than other types of displays. LED backlighting technology allows for better energy efficiency, making it a preferred choice for mobile devices. Question 10. In the process of troubleshooting a laptop, you notice a distorted display. Which component is most likely to be causing the issue? A, the inverter B, the digitizer C, the backlight D, the graphics card. The correct answer is D, the graphics card. If a laptop display is distorted, the most likely cause is a faulty graphics card. The graphics card is responsible for rendering images on the display. And if it is not working properly, the display may appear distorted or garbled. And that concludes our first set of questions on mobile device display components. How are you doing so far? Stay tuned for the second part where we will cover more exciting questions and explanations. Remember, practice makes perfect and we're here to help you ace your CompTIA A plus certification exam. Question 11. What is the difference between LCD, LED, and OLED displays? A. OLED displays are more energy efficient than LCD displays. B. LED displays are more energy efficient than OLED displays. C. LCD displays are more energy efficient than LED displays. D. OLED displays are more expensive than LCD displays. The correct answer is A. OLED displays are more energy efficient than LCD displays. OLED displays utilize organic compounds that emit light when an electric current passes through them. Unlike LCD displays, OLED displays do not require a separate backlight, resulting in greater energy efficiency. Question 12. What is the function of an inverter in a laptop display? A. It converts DC power to AC power. B. It converts AC power to DC power. C. It controls the brightness of the display. D. It controls the contrast of the display. The correct answer is C. It controls the brightness of the display. The inverter in a laptop display is responsible for converting DC power into AC power needed to power the backlight. By controlling the voltage and frequency of the AC power, the inverter regulates the brightness of the display. Question 13. What is the difference between a digitizer and a touchscreen? A. A digitizer is a component of a touchscreen. B. A digitizer is used to input data into a device. C. A touchscreen is used to output data from a device. D. 
A touchscreen is a type of digitizer. The correct answer is A. A digitizer is a component of a touchscreen. A digitizer is a separate layer that detects and converts analog signals, such as touch input, into digital signals that can be processed by the device. A touchscreen refers to the combination of a digitizer and a display that allows for both input and output functions. Question 14. Which component of a laptop display is responsible for converting analog data into digital data? A. Inverter B. Digitizer C. Touchscreen D. Webcam The correct answer is B. Digitizer. A digitizer detects and converts analog signals, such as touch input, into digital signals that can be processed by the device. It plays a crucial role in enabling touch functionality on a laptop display. Question 15. What should be done if there is damage to an inverter in a laptop display? A. Replace it with an identical inverter. B. Replace it with any available inverter. C. Replace it with an LED backlight. D. Replace it with an OLED backlight. The correct answer is A. Replace it with an identical inverter. If the inverter in a laptop display is damaged, it should be replaced with an identical or compatible replacement inverter. Using an incorrect or incompatible inverter may cause further issues or result in compatibility issues with the display. Question 16. Which display technology creates images by shining a light through liquid crystals? A. OLED B. LED C. LCD D. Fluorescent. The correct answer is C. LCD. LCD stands for liquid crystal display and it works by shining a backlight through liquid crystals to create images on the screen. The liquid crystals act as shutters allowing or blocking the passage of light to form the desired image. Question 17. As a technician, you are presented with an LCD laptop with a dim, flickering screen. What malfunctioning part is the most likely cause of this? A. Inverter. B. Liquid crystals. C. Touchscreen D. Digitizer. The correct answer is A. Inverter. If an LCD laptop display appears dim or flickering, the most likely cause is a faulty inverter. The inverter converts DC power to AC power needed for the backlight. A malfunctioning inverter can cause the backlight to flicker or not function properly, resulting in a dim or flickering screen. Question 18. David needs to be able to freeform write on his tablet with precision. What device would be best suited for this? A. Touchscreen B. Hotspot C. Digitizer D. Touch pen. The correct answer is D. Touch pen. A touch pen, also known as a stylus, would be best suited for David's needs. A touch pen provides precise control and enables free-form writing or drawing on a tablet screen, offering greater accuracy than using fingers or other input methods. Question 19. While replacing the screen on a smartphone, a technician notices that the screen is flexible. What type of display type is he most likely replacing? A. VA LCD B LCD C IPS D OLED the correct answer is D, OLED. OLED displays, due to their structure, can provide flexibility for curved or foldable displays. If the technician notices that the screen is flexible, they are likely replacing an OLED display. Question 20. Which of the following features are typically associated with in-plane switching, IPS technology? Choose three options. A. Excellent color quality. B. Quick response times, C, broad viewing angles, D, limited color quality, E, sluggish response times, F, restricted viewing angles. The correct answers are A, excellent color quality, C, broad viewing angles, and E, sluggish response times. IPS displays are known for their excellent color quality and wide viewing angles, making them ideal for applications where accurate colors and multiple people viewing the screen from different angles are important. However, IPS displays may have slower response times compared to other display technologies. Question 21. Which options below accurately describe the characteristics of twisted pneumatic TN technology? Choose 3. 
A. Limited viewing angles. B. Rapid response times. C. Poor color quality. D. Excellent color quality. E. Slow response times. F. Broad viewing angles. The correct answers are A, limited viewing angles, B, rapid response times, and C, poor color quality. Twisted pneumatic TN displays are known for their limited viewing angles, fast response times, and relatively lower color quality compared to other display technologies like IPS or OLED. Question 22. Which of the following options refers to a device that can perform both input and output functions? A. Microphone B, touchpad, C, speaker D, touchscreen E, monitor. The correct answer is D, touchscreen. A touchscreen is a device that can perform both input and output functions. It allows users to interact with the device by providing input through touch and receiving output through the display. Microphones, touchpads, speakers, and monitors are examples of input or output devices, but not both. Question 23. As the person responsible for the display design of a new conference center in a large auditorium with 500 or more seats, which of the following technologies is suitable for providing a large display with high resolutions? A. OLED display panels. B. LCD display panels. C. LCD projectors. D. DLP projectors. The correct answer is D. DLP projectors. When it comes to providing a large display with high resolutions in a large auditorium, DLP, digital light processing projectors, are a suitable choice. DLP projectors use micro mirrors to reflect light and create images on a screen or surface. They are capable of producing bright and sharp visuals, making them ideal for large venues like auditoriums. Question 24. What is a characteristic of modern LCD monitors regarding backlighting? A. They have small cells containing electrically charged ionized gas that does not need backlighting. B. They use cold cathode fluorescent CCFL tubes for backlighting. C. They rely on red, green, and blue light for the least expensive type of backlighting technology. D. LEDs are commonly used for backlighting in LCD monitors. The correct answer is D. LEDs are commonly used for backlighting in LCD monitors. Modern LCD monitors often utilize LED, light emitting diode technology, for backlighting. LEDs offer advantages such as energy efficiency, longer lifespan, and the ability to produce brighter and more vibrant displays compared to other backlighting technologies. LED backlighting has become the standard choice in the industry. Question 25. You have recently acquired a new smartphone that can be folded. Which of the display technologies below is most likely used for the foldable display? A. VAB TNC IPS D OLED The correct answer is D. OLED. When it comes to foldable displays, OLED, organic light emitting diode, technology is commonly used. OLED displays offer flexibility and can be bent or folded without compromising image quality. Their organic compounds emit light when an electric current passes through them, eliminating the need for a separate backlight. Great job! You've completed another set of questions on mobile device display components. Keep practicing and expanding your knowledge. Remember, the more you learn, the more confident you'll become for your CompTIA a certification exam. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. See you in the next video, where we'll continue our journey through the CompTIA A Plus Core 1 exam objectives. Happy studying!